COP21 is the culmination of 23 years of negotiations. It is vitally important that nations come together and sign a legally binding treaty uh, once and for all that can guide the transition to uh, a low carbon economy. The economics of uh, the clean energy economy are finally aligning. Um, we have a really short window of opportunity to make sure that we can keep uh, global warming to two degrees Celsius. Um, and this, a critical component of this could be uh, a treaty that's signed in Paris uh, within the next few weeks. So after 23 years of negotiations, um, we finally have an amazing opportunity. And um, it's really important that nations don't let us down. And it seems, based on the INDCs that have been submitted so far, that this may be possible. It's great that leaders uh, at Lima were able to come to an agreement that gave nations control over their, their submissions and their pledges so that we could accelerate the process of signing an agreement. Now we have to, to uh, really focus in Paris, sign an agreement, and also come up with mechanisms to uh, close the emissions gap that's left between the, what the INDCs do and uh, what we need to do to get to two degrees Celsius. But it's very important that nations come together, sign an agreement in Paris, um, and it seems increasingly likely that, that that's going to be the case. So I have full faith in uh, the United Nations that uh, this will be possible within the next few weeks.